What you're looking at here is Jack and Daxter running completely natively on the Steam Deck, and when I say natively, I mean this is not emulated. So you might be wondering, why is this so great? Unlike emulation, which can suffer from performance issues and compatibility problems, running natively offers huge improvements to performance, stability, and in the case of the Steam Deck, battery life, meaning you can play at a higher frame rate and for longer. It really is win-win. This has been made possible thanks to an ambitious project called Open Goal, where an amazing group of devs have decompiled and recompiled the entire original game into a language that is understood and can be run by modern hardware. Let's take a look at how to set this up. You're going to need a Steam Deck with Decky Launcher installed and an ISO file for Jack 1 or Jack 2. I won't be providing links to the ISO files, so you'll need to work that bit out by yourself, but the recommendation from Open Goal is to rip your original copy of the game. So the first thing you need to do is install Decky Launcher. If you already have this, feel free to skip ahead. If not, listen up. If you're not sure what Decky is, it's a really useful add-on for your Steam Deck which allows you to install tons of plugins from a marketplace. These plugins will unlock your Steam Deck and make it fully customizable with things like custom boot animations, game layouts, and more importantly for this video, the Open Goal plugin. Start by booting into desktop mode, browsing to decky.xyz and selecting the option to download. Open your file browser and run the downloaded file. If you've already set a super user password, enter it when prompted. If not, Decky will set one up for you. This will be Decky with an uppercase D and an exclamation mark. Next, navigate to the Open Goal website and choose the option to download the Decky plugin. Once this is downloaded, switch back into gaming mode. Press the option button on your Steam Deck and you should now have an extra menu for Decky. Select Settings and enable Developer Mode. Then, select the Developer menu and choose the option to install a plugin from a zip file. Select the Open Goal file you downloaded earlier and it should install. Now in Decky, you should have the option to launch the Open Goal plugin. Now this is the part where you'll need your ISO file. Boot back into desktop mode and copy Jack1 or 2 into the directory on screen. Your file must be named Jack1.iso or Jack2.iso. If it's not, the install will fail. Boot back into gaming mode and navigate to the Open Goal Decky plugin. You should now have the option to install Jack1 or 2. If there is an error saying the file can't be found, go back to the previous step and double check that the file name and path are correct. Select the option to install and wait for this to complete. Then, choose the option to create a shortcut to the relevant game and it should now be visible in your Steam library. You'll find it under the non-Steam menu. And that's it, you're all done. If you want to learn more about the Open Goal project, check out their website. If you found this useful, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.